Hello friends, this video on solid states part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we know tetrahedral void, we know octahedral void, right? Let's locate these voids in the actual cube. Let's see where it is. Right? So tetrahedral void, this is my structure of the unit cell. face centered unit cell. Now if you see here, just for simplicity I am drawing, I drew the same thing here. Exactly same. This is, let's suppose 1, this is my 1, this is 2, this is 2, this is 3, this is 3, this is 4, this is 4, this is 5, this is 5. Exactly same. Here also, I will give it A, B, C, D numbering. A, B, C, and D. When the center is, it suppose E. This is also E. And these four, if you see, are these fours on the center, right? Exactly same. I'm just uh, drew this figure. They are exactly same. This is no difference. Yeah, exactly same. Now, if you see this figure, I want to find the tetrahedral point. Correct. Let's take these now. Correct. So here if you see they are 1, 2, 3, 4. They are atoms. Let's take 4 of these. So these 4 will form a tetrahedral wall. So if you see it will be something like this. So it will be something like this. There are three cubes and one that is sitting. Actually, they are all very close. They are very close. I mean, there is no space almost. This is something like this. One is here, one is here, one is here. And on the top, you have one more. It's very close. Since I zoomed it and I made this fair small, you can see so much gap. But actually, there is no much gap. And there is some space here. And this is my tetrahedral points somewhere here because these spheres actually are bigger spheres right they are big spheres correct hope you are understanding what I'm trying to say these three will actually be something like this all touching each other these three grains and then on top of that there will be one more circle this is my tetrahedral points here also imagine these three almost touching each other like this right and on top of that we have this, this one, big one this is a small void created this is my tetrahedral void now that is one void but you can create so many voids like that right so instead of these three I mean you, are, you took one right so one is one corner you can take one two three four five six seven eight you can try with any other corner. You will get 8 tetrahedral void in this picture. Right? One with this, one with this. You take 1, 2, 3. Correct? See, one with this, one with this. You take like that. So, I mean, you can get 8 like that. Correct? So how many are uh, the number of cells, number of, sorry, number of atoms, so number of atoms in this is nothing but 4, we know, one, there are 8 in the corners, each contributing 1 by 8, 6 on the face, each contributing 1 by 2, total is 4, so number of atom is 4, number of retrohedral void is 8, that is twice of that, and that is what we have seen, we have seen also that, the number of tetrahedral void is twice the number of and that is true here also. Let's try to locate the octahedral void in this. Again, same thing I am doing. I am just drawing this figure for simplicity. Right? Just to uh, make it simple. This is exactly the same figure. Now, the first octahedral void will be at center. I will show you. See, you, I have just zoomed this. There are 
already atoms at this position where I'm showing you green they're already there I'm just enlarging it just for your understanding perspective so that you don't see these reds now only the one in the greens then you see at all these green place we have a red correct now if you see here this octahedral void created this is my octahedral This is my octahedral void actually. This is my octahedral void. And actually, I mean, in this picture, just for a clear understanding, I've shown you so much space, but actually, there's not much space there. This is one octahedral void. Also, if you observe, so one is done, one we have found. Also, if you observe, yet each of these 12 edges, there are 12 edges, one, two, three, four, right? Or on this side 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You see, you can count here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? There are 12 edges. Now, each of these 12 edges is actually surrounded by 6 atoms. So, if you see, this is let's take this, this edge now. This is surrounded by 6 atoms, 3 from this same unit. And three from it. Let me zoom this. If you see here, this is my correct. So if you see, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.